Hello everyone, uh, we are here on our year 12 residential service learning trip. We are here at Olong Kotila Primary School and we are all helping out in different ways. The furniture team have been able to complete their benches and now vanishing and the final touches are being done. There are other people who are working on building classrooms from the ground up. They've destroyed the floor so that they can recoat it in a new uh, material. So today we aim on finishing up all of the projects due to the fact that tomorrow midday we'll be handing over the work that we have done. So for a number of the clusters they have been able to complete the walls and plaster the floors as well as pour the oxidizing paint. In addition to all the fantastic work that has been done by every single year 12 students, a group from the Science Expo team including myself, Gloria Bebe, Peter Kiagi, Sasha Kemitai and Jeremy Kater have been working on making paper briquettes that are used as an alternative form to coal or charcoal as a renewable source of energy. Yesterday we spent almost half of the day creating the briquettes as well as teaching students from this school how to make them and how to implement them in their families, in their homes and in their society as a whole. We plan on helping them tomorrow to cook meals with them, showing them how sustainable it can be and how it is a better alternative to coal. We are currently doing the tree planting activity and students from both Karen and Runda as well as the Olenkotila students have come together honestly to plant these trees and it's been such a good show of unity. Additionally, teachers have pulled in and tried to help us put both the manure and the trees in there and just ensure that we achieve our project. So we are grateful, grateful in saying thank you to them. As a round square school, service learning is an essential part of the ideals and being able to impact these individuals positively, taking away the negative externalities that affect their day to day we are able to fully carry out. are working on murals that are both educational and will also make the place look a lot lot better so we are in the hustle of it right now working very hard but we know that our work is going to a good cause <laughs> experience firsthand the journey that these children make every single day commuting to and fro from school and home. Um, it was really eye-opening for a number of us just realizing what we take for granted. <laughs> Today, set for the day, we have started with a reflection, particularly on gratitude, 
and having a sense of self-awareness of the people around us and how our actions are impacting them. Yes, so Pona, teachers, parents, and all of my fellow people in front of who is the language that primary school people. They need to be designed a dance entitled Back, we laugh and have a banana smile. Oh, I don't forget to shake your collar. Oh, we're at the bank, scratchy banger, seven, and get a bit of a tap. We're at the bank, scratchy banger, seven, and get a bit of a tap. A special uh, student, I would like to thank for the, for the surprise the gift that he gave me, a bracelet, so that I can always keep with me. And the student is uh, Brian Masagara. Tunatumai kwamba umeza na dawati ambazo tumewatengenezea zita wasaidia mnapo soma. Kotila family, we are so grateful for the opportunity you've given us and we hope this desk will be able to make the future doctors, leaders, na musome na didi mkwe enye mnataka kwa imaisha. So to the whole Kotila family, we'd like to say, Megeta Mayananga.